what's Tim dudes? It's Torby here. Welcome back and today I've created a sand duplicator for 1.7.5. It's really efficient. So how it works is the power goes through here through the sand block and it powers these two pistons and these two pistons uh, push the sand back at the exact same time which causes a bit of uh, Minecraft discomfort or something like that. I don't know, it's a little bit of a sand duplicated glitch. I was just messing around in my creative world and I found this accidentally. So that also powers this block which pushes the sand up towards this furnace and this furnace messes with the sand entity so you can specify where the sand actually lands using this furnace so if I power this lever then the sand's going to be you know duplicated and look it's, it's working really well and I've been using this for a little bit and look how fast it is it's excellent it's completely vanilla friendly and it's 1.7.5 so this is absolutely great. It's not one of the 1.8 snapshots, but it's really good. Um, hopefully Mojang patches this up fairly soon, but until they do, hopefully we'll be able to use it. I'm going to be definitely using this in my Skyblock world. So without further ado, let me show you how to build it. It's very simple, but there are certain techniques you need to do beforehand. Um, for example, you can't just build all of it by yourself. So you need to have a look at what I'm going to show you next. So let's get on with the tutorial and what you need. So everything you're going to need are in these two chests over here. So this chest over here contains all the building supplies, everything you'll need. So the sticker piston pushing up, all of that stuff. Uh, lever over there to turn the machine on and off because you don't really want it running in your world all the time. Um, and then all of that stuff like so. And then over here in this chest, this is what you need for the hopper system. And then over here, this is what you need for the furnace. So you indicate where the sand actually duplicates. So without further ado, let's get building and I'll show you how to build this. So what you're going to want to do is first you want to place a sticky piston facing upwards like so with a glass and sand block on top. You want to build two blocks like so facing away from each other and then a sticky piston facing in like that and then a sticky piston facing in like that over here you want to place two blocks like so with a repeater and a lever switched on like so and then over here you want to place five blocks like so in a happy face with three redstone dust and then if we do it like that it should just do something like that and it shouldn't quite work yet so what we want to do is we want to place four blocks like so leading down towards the sticky piston and then place three redstone dust like so, well we need to replace that sand block like that and it's going to create a clock but it's not going to duplicate any sand yet and that's because we need to specify which direction we want to face it in. So without further ado, let's move on to stage 2. Alright, for stage 2 what you want to do is you want to place your furnace, you want to face it this way, the face facing this way. If you face it this way then it's, the sand's just going to fall on that redstone dust and this isn't going to quite work properly. Over here in this furnace you want to place a gold golden apple which is eight golden blocks of course and the cooked salmon on the bottom so golden apple on top like that and this is going to edit the data value of the falling sand entity which allows it to duplicate it's a it's a it's a glitch so over here you want to place a chest like that with a hopper facing into it with a carpet on top and then you want to give yourself a command block like that and then underneath this block you want to place your command block. Now you want to get your coordinates for this block right here. So what is it? Negative 301, 58 and negative 48. Now you want to transfer these coordinates over here to this command block and you want to place it in like so. You want to do summon falling sand negative 301. You want to shift this y coordinate up one very slightly because you want the entity to fall one above otherwise it doesn't look like it's actually going to be duplicated so you want to make a good show of it and then you want to do time colon one and then curly bracket then you want to replace your redstone like so and then you flick the switch and look it's been duplicated very vanilla fr vanilla free and i hope you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial hope you guys build it in your worlds i'm definitely going to build it in my sky block got all i need to do is summon that command block i've got everything else um but that's going to be it for the end of this episode dude so cheers for watching um let me know whether you enjoyed this tutorial or not why did i call it an episode but 
Um, next tutorial I'm going to show you how to duplicate diamond blocks for 1.7.4 um, and if you enjoyed leave it a like um, and as always tell what to do. See you next time, take it easy, have a good day and have a good April Fools dudes. See you next time.